uh, there was a lot of these machines were developed and by different companies around the same time or whatever. This particular one was developed by and manufactured by a company called Cropper over in the UK. There's this one, another machine that I've worked on recently was an Arab Platin, which is very, very like that. And it's amazing, the manufacturer in England and a person in America developed near practically identical machines at the same time. First thing I would have to do when preparing the press would be to dress the platen. And when I say dress the platen, it means putting the uh, top sheet, the tympan sheet on, which is clipped in at the top and the bottom, right? And then you build up with a few sheets of uh, light paper, like newsprint or whatever, like a sheet of card, to build up to a certain thickness. So that when you put your form in, your form with, with, the, with your type and the uh, furniture and all made up, that the compositor would have made up, and you put that on the machine, when you ink up the surface then, the ink on the platen on the surface then, uh, and you take your first pull, it should be even, but just a kiss of impression, enough impression to transfer the ink from the surface of the type onto the paper, in a n nice and sharp without too much ink that is slurry or anything like that. Get, go for a nice sharp print or whatever. The uh, pedigree that it has the, and the historics attached to it, that this reputed that two of them went down with the Titanic. And on the Titanic and most of the cruise ships and the transatlantic liners and all that, they'd have a little printing shop, like a liner type, and they'd have a few of these machines here, a few of the, uh, the, the hand-fed platens. And they'd have their invitation cards, all very nicely printed, very ornate cards or whatever printed. So they printed all sorts of things. But two of them are supposed to have gone down with the Titanic. This particular one came from Guinness's. And my pal worked on it up in Arthur Guinness. And uh, Guinness has printed their labels for the bottles years ago. Uh, they, on a large scale, all the labels be printed, but individual labels then for the different pubs. The barrel of beer would go to a pub and they would bottle off the beer themselves in the pub and they'd stick the label on. Well, this machine here, they'd actually overprint the Guinness labels with the name of the pub and the little town and village on it. So that's what that was used for in Guinnesses, amongst other things, but mainly for that. So there's great history attached to it. Uh, it's our heritage. It's important to have this particular machine here because this was the step from the old hand press onto this and then the next step up then was to the, the automated machines that are here behind me there, the, the, the platens and that, and then onto cylinder machines. But this guy is important because he's, he, he was a big step in the evolution of printing from the hand press onto this and then onto the automatic presses then after that. So that's why it's important to have that here.